In this video, we set a radio clock on a Dodge Ram. Stay tuned. Welcome back and or to the channel. We got some big developments coming up on the channel. If I get a chance, I'll try to leave some information here in this video for you if I can. There's not too much I want to really say right now because I don't know the sequence of the videos I'm going to be putting out, but there is some big changes coming and there's a lot of things that I don't know what direction I'm going to take things. So, but today's video is just a basic setting the clock radio. Um, many people will have to change batteries or their battery will go dead and they have to buy a new one. In that process, you have to reset your clock radio. And every vehicle is different. Every vehicle has different settings. So what we're going to do in this video is kind of go through those settings and what you need to do to set your clock radio. So what I'm going to do is set you up on a little bit better angle at the radio. And once I have you at the radio, then we're going to go ahead and set this clock. Okay, so now that I got you set up, what you need to do is either turn the vehicle to the run position or the accessory position, whatever allows you to turn your clock radio on. Now, once that is on, what you need to do... Okay, so now that I've got the basics laid out here, Okay, so what you do is turn your vehicle to the accessory position or the run position, whatever allows you to turn on the function of the clock. On a Dodge Ram, it's fairly simple. They give you a button that's, that says time on it. What you do is you press and hold the button. This will allow this digit to flash. Now you can turn this to whatever you need it to be. And then you press this in one time. This brings up the minutes, so this allows you to dial back the minutes, figure out where you need to be as far as that goes. Then you hit it again, and now your clock is set. So this is one of the more easier clocks to set. It's not really that difficult. I'm gonna go through all the other vehicles. I'll be doing those in separate videos. I won't necessarily do them all in one because it just gets to be a little bit complicated if you're trying to do multiple vehicles in one video. So I'll break it up into each one. We will have one for the two-wheel drive tank, the Silver Swine, and obviously Champagne Bubbles right there that you see. Each one is going to have a different process. Each one's going to do different things in order to get it set. But on a Dodge Ram uh, 08 model that has this style dash, that's how you would set the clock radio. It's very basic. There's not much to really know or do with it. Uh, you can't really use the steering wheel controls on the back of the steering wheel because there is controls back here. These are just to do the volume and the tuning. That's all they do. Uh, they're, you wouldn't be able to set the clock radio from there. So you have to do it on the actual radio, just the sequence that I showed you. But very simple video today. I'd like to say thank you for watching. Please hit that like button smash that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.